Hello. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. The year is 1970. Corel, made by Corningware, produced many different types of patterns, this one being the gold butterfly pattern. My guess is that many of you recognize this from your own family tables or maybe of family and friends that you visited as well. I'm very familiar with that plate. It's been in my family for a number of years. And 1981 was the year that I was born. Maybe I didn't sit at the table in 1981, but as I grew older, family dinners were very important to us. When Corning made this plate, they did it in response to the community that was watching TV while they ate quite a bit. So somebody wanted something that was lightweight to easily sit on their laps, and they wanted it to be durable in case it dropped on the floor. My mother was one of those that purchased the sets of plates. However, it was not to sit in front of the TV. That was not something that we did as a family. It was always turned off. Phone calls were either limited or you didn't answer the phone at all during summertime, and God forbid that anybody called during that time anyway, really. And meals with my family, we always sat together. It was typically just three of us. My brother is eight years older than I am, so most of my memories are without him there at the table. What I learned around the table was manners and and enjoying each other's company and good meals together. They were very quiet meals, and because there was only the three of us, plus just we were a very calm and collective family in general. <coughs> the loudest thing that you probably heard was the tinkling of silverware on these plates rather than our discussions. So then, many years later in high school, I met my future husband, Kurt Menchofer, and we dated for several months, and eventually I got that invitation. I'm going to meet his parents, and we're going to eat dinner together. I was so nervous, because this family is so incredibly different from mine. We're the, the well-mannered, calm, collected family. This is the rowdy, farm, gun shooting, <laughs> horseback riding, type of family that I was completely not used to being with. I apologize. I have to okay. jump here. Something Thanks. <clears throat> so I sat down at that table, nerves, butterflies, just going crazy. And then sitting in front of me was this very pattern. So my nerves could be calmed. I could see that this family, it's not so different from mine after all. However, it was a loud and rambunctious group. There were uh, my husband and his two siblings and his parents. Again, the TV was not part of it, but conversation was a huge part of this experience. If someone wasn't joking or uh, poking fun at someone or telling stories, if someone didn't have milk coming out of their nose at some point during the meal, something was terribly wrong at that point. So several years later, Kurt and I were eventually married, and both of our sets of parents had moved on to different dishes. So we melded both our families and our sets of plates together. I didn't register for anything different. And so today, in 2015, we continue to use these plates. I haven't gotten anything different because the memories that I have from both my family and my husband's family are very important to us. The memories that we have of family time and sharing with one another are something that I want to continue. I have two young boys that were so excited when they got to move up to the glass plates versus the plastic plates that they have when they're in their younger days. And so someday my children will grow older, they will move out of the house, maybe have families of their own. And when they get to that point, I'm not expecting them to take these heirloom plates with them necessarily. If they want to, I would be happy to give them to them, but they will have their own plates, whether they're plastic or they're styrofoam or they're some fine china, it doesn't matter to me, but I hope that what they take with them are the memories that they have and the pattern of love that they have experienced their entire life. Mr. Kirk.